Hi, hallo en welkom. Welkom back to another Uncredit video. Welkom back to another unedited leak gameplay commentary. We are playing support this time around. I don't know what the leak out of fill system is doing, but uh, it's it's not cooking. I can tell you that much. It's not cooking. In this queue session, in this leak session, I was trying to queue into last game. I did get top lane. The support player asked me to switch. But I saw it way too late. I had picked Jax already at that point. And I asked him, hey, if you want to play Jax, we can still switch. But that person was like, nah, nah, I don't want to play Jax. And now, this motherfucker is in my lobby again. I go top again. And I was like, okay, uh, I'll play support if you really want to switch still. And he was like, yeah, thank you, that would be very friendly. And this motherfucker just picked Jax. I think he's, he's fucking with me a little bit. And I appreciate it. I mean, it's kind of it's kind of really funny, actually. Ooh, thought I would get a nice hit in there. We're dealing a lot of damage here. I don't have any healing for you, but they are really low right now. We Nice try. We need to be a little bit careful for the jungler coming in. I guess I should be putting out a ward as soon as possible. Yep. Let's get out of here. He's not going to be able to do anything to us, I think. Did I block Jin W? Because that was on accident. I don't think he needed to die there. That's a double kill for me. I don't know if it's completely worth it, but I, I think I'm okay with it, to be honest. That's not the best buy. We're gonna just go full AP for now. Maybe I could have helped out MF a little bit more, but I think me blocking Jin W was already quite nice and already almost everything I could do. This should be a kill, I think. Right? Well, at least it's both summoners. Ooh. Yikes. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, 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 okay. We love that. We love to see that. Are you gonna kill this minion? Yeah, I'll help you. I guess it's a jungle monster, not really a minion. Helping out the jungler to be uh, on his right side a bit, you know? You can never have too many ganks in the bot lane. You know, this team... Sorry, popping off. Makes it a lot easier to spread my, my, my positivity here in the League of Legends community in the on the Rift. I know for a fact that... Dealing damage to enemy champions gives me more gold from my support item than just stealing minions does, or well, sharing minions does, so I want to focus on that. But I also desperately want to get level 3, because that shield is going to help us out a lot in this lane. I guess I'll take one minion just to stack up the gold a little bit, but I want to focus on gathering that gold. There we go, level 3 achieved. Some nice damage in there. Try to shield her a bit. Yeah, this MF is cooking. She's doing A-OK -okay in my book. She's dealing a lot of damage at the right time. I don't have a stack, so I hope she gets the cannon herself. Great job. I, I I really wanted to play some Lux. It's a support that doesn't always feel like a support. You know, it just feels like you're uh, another mage in the bot lane. It feels like you're an extra damage dealer on your team. That's not necessarily the type of support I always love to play with when I play AD carry myself. So it feels a little bit hypocritical maybe. But I just, I, I felt like playing some Lux. I felt like getting some Lux gameplay in there. Are we real tough to Dragon right now? I think we need to calm down a little bit. We we need to push in a little bit harder first. Before we can have enough prior to move up to Dragon right away. I missed all of my abilities, but the map is still going in. And she might pay for that. Or she might not. Awesome. Awesome. That was great. Wow, with that bounce to have, she would have she would have been dead. So she needs to be careful a little bit. We are maxing E for sure, right? Yes, we are. I think we're gonna have to help out our buddy Lilia here a little bit because she's not gonna be able to do the dragon on her own. We have so we have eyes on Viego. And there's probably gonna be more people incoming, so we definitely need all the help that we can get. Could have dodged that, could have dodged that. Especially could have used my ult, uh, my flash rather, not my ult. Could have used my flash to dodge that. My reaction time was a little bit too slow. Jin with a double kill. The Lost Chapter is an amazing buy for us. Okay, I think this will be fine. Maybe Lilia will die. Is that... Oh, I thought it was Galio ult. Damn. Lulu got a kill in the end. That was... 3 for 4? 
one two three no it was maybe three for three but our Ezreal is nice and fat and if you saw anything in my last Ungrid video you know that Ezreal can carry games and <laughs> make you win right <laughs> right guys yeah okay uh, I'm gonna have to take this cannon because otherwise it will go to waste but the rest I'm leaving here for MF I'm gonna start stacking up a little bit through just killing minions because otherwise it's gonna be too slow and I need to put down my ward sooner or later for now, it's just mainly focused on getting that level 6, because I think that's what we mainly need in order to really be able to destroy this lane a bit. Some nice poke damage in there. Careful for Lulu, because we see that she's back in the lane. Don't go too deep. I don't think you needed to flash there. Didn't want to take the risk of giving that kill to MF, but we are really popping off in terms of kills here in the bot lane. Four in total. against their four in total. I guess we're not popping off that much at all. I hope my Ezreal has his sights on his map and he saw that the Viego is coming in. Great job by MF on getting that farm. Be careful that Viego doesn't come up and ransack me too hard here. I guess we will just move out of the lane before getting into much trouble. Because Viego might be on his way, I'm just gonna move out. Okay. Will I recall together with my MF? I think so and I will buy boots to get back to lane quickly. And I'll wait a second to get another Amplifying Tome, probably. I don't even have to wait. I can just start moving out and move further. If I was level 6, I would try and throw a little ult here up against Singed. But I think right now it's not something we need to deal with. Especially if I see the farm total he has compared to our Jax. Everything is... I'll say it. Everything is coming up Millhouse. Hell yeah. Okay, seems like there's some trouble brewing here, but our main focus is still going to be the bot lane for now, especially as long as we are not level 6. I'll take this minion. Okay. The bot lane is gone. I hope our team pays a little bit of attention. We do have our warding item finally, which gives us a little bit more defensive capacities here in the jungle. I was going to say I'm a bit scared that they are doing dragon, but for now I just I need to soak up this XP. I need to get level 6. There we go. Helps us out. Where is Lulu? Dodge, he would dodge, dodge upward. Just zone Lulu off a little bit with that E. And MF can get a nice plating for us. Can get a nice plating for us. Yes. Okay. I think she even got it solo. So that's even better. I left my slow out there because I thought by the way he was moving that we would get some company from Viego here, but it seems like that might not be the case. I was too scared to flash at first because I thought I would miss I would miss my stun. And it was true in the end, but I knew that by dodging my stun he would have to move into my ult. Pretty well played, pretty okay. Still just stacking up kills. I might have had to buy a dark seal really because we are stacking up a ton of kills here in the bottom lane i shouldn't just start farming no that's not necessarily what i want to do we kind of forgot that my my support item is fully stacked it's not even fully stacked i just didn't have a stack of course you can also pop your stack on turret so that helps out a ton we are probably getting ganked here but i think we might be able to just fend off a gank and kill the viego as well if i'm completely honest now that is an interesting play style Move out of vision from this Jin into the bush. If that Lilia has ult, then we are A-OK. -okay. Don't want to get the double kill. Yes, OK. We're in the money. We're actually, like, the stovetop is on, the burner is on, the oven is even on with the door open just to make the kitchen a little bit hotter because we are definitely, definitely cooking over here. I think this will be another quick game, probably. Unless if they don't want to surrender, but... In their shoes, this would be a moment where I would already be considering just throwing up the gauntlet, throwing down the gauntlet rather, and accepting our losses, accepting defeat. Hopefully they are not, or well not hopefully, but maybe they are not as pussy as I would be in this situation, because I really don't like surrendering in League of Legends either, but I mean, this, is, this seems almost hopeless. Especially if I keep hitting my skill shots like this, because I mean, goddamn, who is this guy? Lulu? A little poke damage, we get our ult back immediately either way. They're gonna try to push in this turret of course and gather as much platings as they can. Which I respect and we're not gonna be able to come back in time to... To really do something about this. Okay, I respect that. I respect that. 
it did make him make them miss the opportunity for more turret damage, but I don't think that's necessarily worth my death. I don't think it's worth them missing that. I'll go for this item first. The boots can wait. I think I will even buy... I'll buy Dark Seal. It's a little bit late. It's a little bit on the late side, maybe, but I will just try. Who knows? Maybe we can pop off even further, you know? You have to take chances in life sometimes. Nice dodge by the MF. Great timing by the Lulu. Or, well, timing. Just great reaction. Ooh, that sucks. Ugh. You have to take risks. You have to take risks in life. Ah, damn it. Whoa! I did not notice that. I don't know if that's worth it. I think if I had my eyes a little bit better pointed at my screen, I might have been able to do more there. But hey, two dark seal stacks. Wednesday today. Nice try. Wednesday today. Had three clients. I only work before noon on Wednesday, so it's quite a chill day. I'm going to save up for the magic pen boots right now. It's quite a chill day. Three male clients. A bit of the same variety, a little bit on the cognitive side a little bit on the we are thinking about things trying to rationalize everything but we're not really feeling although one of them the person i saw first today at nine in the morning he has really made some tremendous steps forwards in terms of listening more to his feelings listening more to what his body is telling him and i really really appreciate the work he has been putting in lately especially because he has also been translating it into a more clear way of communicating together with his partner and i can't do nothing but respect that you know that's what you want in psychotherapy you want the results to be palpable outside of the therapeutic situation as well you really want to be able to just see and feel that this person is doing something with their life and turning it into into benefits on all domains. That's exactly what I'm feeling here. Healing our shielding, dealing damage to an ability. I think I'll go for Realm Spike because that sounds like it's a damaging version of the support item and we are really focused on damage. We might get ganked here, but I think in general we are just bing chilling. We can do this. Blue shield down. Zone him out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Great job. That was awesome. That was really, really well played by your... I didn't even know we were meaning to do that, but the fist bump says it all, right? We are proud of each other. We are supporting each other. We are bot lane buddies. Let's go for dragon. I really want to go for dragon here, to be honest. All right, I think he knows more than we think he knows. I'm gonna get the hell out of here. I don't know how I survived that. I'm gonna look out for Jinx ult. If she ults here, I will go in with a stun. But I'm just patiently waiting my time for now. And I think I should just get out of here. I might just throw out my ult, but if I throw out my ult, Zinx will... Zinx. Jinx will... Wow! Zix will know where I am. I think we want to avoid that. I think I'm just gonna back off, not take too many risks, finally get my boots, and Malignance is definitely, definitely gonna be the next item. It's definitely, definitely gonna be the next item we go for. Today being Wednesday means tomorrow is Thursday. That's a little bit of a... A little bit of a... Busier day. A little bit of a busier day. He got almost no minions there. He's he's really just trolling, right? I mean, he's trying this proxy cinch threat, but he's not popping off at all. It's going to be six clients. One cancelled. Normally, it would have been seven. Seven is a normal amount. Or, well, it's not necessarily the more normal amount, but it's the amount that I'm expected to do on most days. But six is going to be a lot calmer. Spread out throughout the day. 3 in the morning, 3 in the evening, that makes it feasible for me to do. Move Dragon back into this zone. Sure, they can take the Rift Herald, I would rather have Dragon any day of the week. Maybe not any day of the week, Rift Herald can really wreak some havoc if they are pushing already, but at this point in time I don't think we should worry about that too much. I think I'm gonna help out my Jax in the bot lane a little bit. Plans for the rest of the day? Going out for a nice picnic together with my girlfriend, or we might just eat inside. The only thing that has been decided upon is that we are gonna eat pizza. She wants Domino's Pizza, I respect that. 
No, I don't respect that, but I understand that. She wants Domino's Pizza because Domino's Pizza is the one where the vegan cheese is A-OK. -okay. And I understand that completely. Alright, we're gonna have to fight well here. That Viego ult is kind of impeding our ability to fight well for sure. Just pop my Ignite. Don't pop any other attacks because we don't want to steal the kill. Zix is hanging around here somewhere. Oh, I am just... I am a fucking goat. I am American Sniper. It's a... It's quite a performance, you know? I feel like Tyler won the way that I am dominating all these lanes, you know? You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm kind of popping off. I guess the Ezreal game I wouldn't really call popping off, but I, I, I tried my best. I tried my best. I'll say it. I'll be the first person to say it, maybe also the last one, but I tried my best. The rest of the day is going to consist of probably filming another video about the book that Irvin Yalom has written. Maybe read a little bit in 100 Years of Salt to it, another book I'm working on. It's a chill day. It's a chill day. Now that my education has been finished or is on a break for three months, I really am blending the days together in very similar ways, but in very, very positive ways. In ways that really allow me to just feel nice every single day, you know? Like, my life might be... The days might be similar, but it's completely okay for me that they are similar like this. Keep on moving. Keep on moving with the lights on. Oh, okay. Zoning ult. Is the copium response, I will say there. Move back, Chin. Move back. You want it. Should have been there to shield my jacks a little bit more, maybe. Boom! What up? Solo renecting only here. Bringing some more League of Legends action. I'll recall, I think. MF, you'll be fine over there. I I'll need I need my malignants. I was gonna say we don't have enough gold, but the turret is coming in clutch because now we can just straight upgrade into this bad boy. It's it's going it's going swimmingly. That's a different expression from saying everything is coming up millhouse. It's coming it's going swimmingly here. One thing we have lacking in our life lately is maybe a little show we are invested in. We have watched episode 1 of the Jetlag series in Australia, and that's been a lot of fun. A little show on YouTube that we really, really enjoyed, that I found randomly one day when they were doing their tag across Switzerland stuff, and it was an, a, a joy to watch together. We then also watched their North American series that they did last time, where they raced from Alaska into Florida, from the northernmost point of America into the southernmost point. That was a lot of fun. And now they are in Australia, and they are playing a type of King of the Hill. And it really, really is a blast to look at. They are so creative in their content creation. It's inspiring. If I miss my ult one more time, I might never allow myself to pick Lux again. But hey, it's the name of the game, you know. Sometimes you just do it. Lux ult is one you can miss for sure because it is just back in two seconds. I'm going to be able to pop in on this Viego here as well. You, you don't win this fight, buddy. You win this fight, buddy. Did I just flash into him? I think I might have. Maybe the camera was a little bit unclear. Ah, that's the correct response. Let's not... Let's not throw this game. Let's not do that. Let's sit in silence for a moment. I give my speech systems a little break. While we're in silence here, chilling together, think about how you're feeling today, but like in a real way. Describe it with a color, a taste, a texture, describe it in some in some different ways than just saying good or bad. Think about that for a second. Come back to me when you when you have the answer. Lilia is a fast one, isn't she? For me personally, I'm mainly feeling hot as fuck, and not in terms of outwardly appearance but more in terms of the temperature in belgium because man did they just do baron because man oh man it is hot as hell here in belgium today it's almost to the point of like being in, in insatiable in, in incurably hot in insanely hot just whatever type of word really applies whatever you want to call it but I don't want to complain about it either because we've just had so much rains like you would almost say that we were blessing a town in Africa. So I want to count my blessings and be happy that it's on the hot side but they they don't have an in-between here in Belgium you know. 
climate is suffering from borderline personality disorder, whereas there's only extremes. You get that reference to psychologist respect points. I think borderline is one of the more well-known disorders out there, so a lot of people will probably get that reference. Looks like we have too much damage to help out farming. It'll just be farming on my end then. That was just like the poorest Lux ult attempt we've seen so far this game, and we've had some bad ones, so that's saying a lot. I respect that Lux, thank you for the assist. I'm gonna be a little bit careful because I have a uh, Viego on my ass. That Viego is about to carry this game, isn't he? 15 kills. 15 out of 25 kills. Are we just giving him the Quadra then? We almost killed the Lulu support. That's big. Are we in trouble? I, I get the sense. I get this distinct feeling that we might be in trouble. If we lose this game, I'm going to be sad. Because we had so, so much lane dominance that I really don't want to give this game away. I don't deal that much damage to this guy. But my ult will be back in a second, so it's all fine. He should, he should die here. No, no, he's not gonna die here, not even close. We just need to get a pick on Viego and then we will be fine. I mean, come on, we, we could have predicted him being there, right? Oh, did I just do it? He's, he's just clean. He's just clean with it. I mean, I don't know what else you can say apart from he's just clean with it, you know? Sometimes that's all you have to say. Or if you're Sam from Jet Like The Game, I always keep forgetting on the, the name of the show. You could always say, we are so freaking back. Boom! That did not even remove the Lulu shield. But Jack should be able to pop off a little bit against the bot lane. I hope. I don't see any kills coming in. I'm gonna try and defend top a little bit, but Cinch is probably just gonna tear me a new one if I move in too close, so I think it's gonna be... It's mainly gonna be just about dealing damage and clearing out the wave. Could have timed that Q a little bit better, and maybe even killed Six. We can just throw out our ult left, right and center though. This guy is gonna be dead in a second. Probably. Ezreal is also coming in for the flank, so I really have no doubts in my mind that we are picking up another assist. Number 13 of the game. Less assists on my support role than Viego has skills. That's a little bit worrisome, but we're gonna we're gonna work with it. We're gonna see what we can do with it. We're gonna try our best. Bot lane is gonna get pushed in, so I hope me and Ezreal can head to bot to maybe kill them. Maybe Lilia is coming as well for a little flank. What do we need to do to really finish out this game? Let's give it a second of thought. The dragon is not going to make the difference. I think Baron might be okay to focus on, but I don't think we necessarily need the Baron. I think the main thing we need to do is just really kill that Viego as soon as possible in the next side as well. And that'll make it a lot easier for us to actually just snatch away the victory. I think that really is the, the main thing we should be focusing on. I hope this MF doesn't die. And I was talking about the champion MF. I'm not calling my AD carry a motherfucker because she has been performing quite well. I am satisfied with that performance. Jin can 2v1 these guys. MF, you really, really should not take that fight. Not not in a million years. Okay, they got the Jin. I'm looking out for this Viego ult on the wave. Which is exactly what I hope to hit him with. Or where I would hope to hit him with the Q. Just slowing him down a little bit. Dodge the Zig ult. Immediately flash out of there, try and shield, just ult a minion wave, maybe pick up a little champion damage in between, but it was not my main focus. I'm glad I survived there, singed, ult from, uh, singed flash from my flash rather is worth it. We need to stop randomly engaging, we desperately, desperately need to stop this. I should have been there to pop my ignite, I guess. This is fine, this is fine. That's not worth that one kill, because he has to be dead right now, right? Okay, 
he made it worth by also getting Ezreal for sure, but checks. Pop off. Do your thinking. Yes, sir. No, do dragon first, dragon first. Focus Drake. Jin is just a kill. Okay. <laughs> or you can do that, I guess, where you just both flash in. Uh, we have one stick on our Dark Seal. I'm selling this bad boy and I'm building my Horizon Focus a little bit quicker. Dragon, and then head over to Baron. Baron after. Let's go, team. We got this. Great job. Let's head straight to the Baron. I guess if our bot lane, bot lane, I am bot lane. If MF and Jax want to recall to head over there first, that is completely fine. We are going to have to gain control of this location either way, regardless of whether we are actually doing the Baron or not. I think I should have a little bit more wards lying around here at this point of the game. Just some nice poke. Nothing too serious, nothing to really try and kill him. But MF might. Oh man. The assists are being stacked up. How did I not spot that ward? That's a little bit of a mystery to me. We are either focusing, forcing this Baron or... That's fine, I think. He can't kill all of them. Okay. If that Viego wants to keep jumping in and killing me for his own life or sacrificing his own life just to kill the support, I am so fine with that. Jax, King, I tip my hat to you if I would have a hat on. I think we are in the money. I think we are actually doing tremendously well here. Don't, please don't make the mistake the Viego made. Okay. Okay, the game is over. GG. Well played, team. Well played. We got our shit together. We acted upon the mistakes we were making. And I think I'm talking shit myself because Viego just threw away the game by engaging on me time after time again. Singe is not going to be able to defend on his own. It's over. It's all over now. Thank you very much for watching. I can just win in every role, even though I didn't win in the ADK role. But that's just a small detail. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.